It's all changed for auto crews in the 2017 season. Swift Group's range of panel van conversions get a new name, a new nomenclature, and the amazingness of being able to bespoke your own vehicle from a start price of £36,000. Here's how it works as applied to last year's Alto, for example, which is now known as the Select 164. You basically take the base vehicle specification and you add some packs to it. The vehicle behind me has every single pack fitted to it. So let's go and have a look and see how close this is to last year's specification and what you get at the top end of the new Auto Cruise offer. Now the van conversions market is quite a tricky one. There's a huge amount of choice and a lot of converters vying for your check. So wouldn't it be amazing if you could go to one of the bigger manufacturers and basically try to get a bespoke service? And that would be if you went to a smaller converter and they're offering you something they're building direct from the factory, so the motorhome exactly as you want it. Now obviously a volume producer can't really do that. The scale of production is very different and they have a very different way of working where things are far more geared towards the cost base and smooth production. Swift, however, has hit upon a novel scheme going forward that offers a hybrid of the two. So now you can basically select a base vehicle specification and add the options packs as mentioned. So say for example there are things in the habitation in the off the peg item that you don't really want. Maybe you want more things in the cab, a few more driver goodies. You can do that. For example, this fan has the driver's pack that adds cab air conditioning and cruise control. Now the Auto Cruise models are based on the Fiat Ducato with the new 2 litre engine producing 115 bhp. Now outside these options packs you can still specify individual upgrades and that includes the 2.3 litre engine producing 130 bhp. Now that as you know comes as standard with a 6 speed manual gearbox but you can also specify Fiat's Comfortmatic robotized gearbox transmission. The living pack adds a few desirable extras to the habitation, including the Arely Sen cabinet work, a couple of individual details like this one under the window, and a decor panel in the sliding door. You also get Truma Combi heating, and as standard, there are two travel seats just here in the cab, but there is an option to expand them, and that option has been taken up in our test van, so there were four in total. Now this side compact kitchen follows the basic camper van layout, and should cope very admirably with basic cooking duties. You have a sink with lift up tap here. Next to that, two gas burners and a 50 litre electric fridge. Now that all comes as standard specification. You can pimp it up slightly by adding a grill and that is part of the luxury pack and sits down here just under the worktop. Now the only compromise in this layout is the small offside washroom, but if you're staying on full facility sites, it's not gonna be too much of an issue. You do, however, if you need it, get a vanity unit, a swivel loo, and a shower attachment that doubles as the mixer tap for the sink. Now the 164 offers the comfort and convenience of a fixed bed, and it's certainly comfortable because it's a Duvalet memory foam mattress. This vanity unit station at the edge of the bed is interesting too. The floor is raised here, so people who aren't of the taller persuasion will have no difficulty dangling their legs off in comfort while getting fully engaged with the mirror. Now underneath that you'll notice there are two 230 volt sockets, so you can connect your curling tongs and your hairdryer at the same time. Up above you get a midi hecky roof light in lieu of a mini hecky, and there's fantastic storage provision under the fixed bed here. You can lift it up or load it at the end. The choice is yours. And bear in mind that there's the option of a third berth back in the dinette. The Auto Cruise Select 164 is 6.36 metres long and an MTPLM of under 3,500 kilograms. Anyone can drive it on a standard car licence. As we've seen, it's a capable two berth with the added attraction of that very comfortable rear bed. Now, the new option strategy for Auto Cruise will be very interesting this season. Whether it's a marketing wheeze or not remains to be seen. But one thing's for certain, with this amount of customization and the fact that you're pretty much ordering a bespoke van, it puts the potential customer in the driving seat.